YouTubers, what we are going to do today is we're going to foil quill some acrylic coasters. These are coasters sent to me from Craft Chameleon, and we are going to use the foil quill to decorate them with some sketch files. Uh, the best part is, it doesn't come off. It's also a great beginner project for anybody who has a curio and might be a little scared of it. This is a pretty easy one with a curio. So let me go show you what you need. Alright, so we are going to need the foil quill. I've been using the large tip. Um, I just seem to like that one better. And then we're using adapter A, which is for the silhouette machines. Um, either the large tip or the medium tip will work. This is the large tip, and then this is the medium one. I haven't tried the fine tip, it just didn't seem kind of useful for this application. And then I've just been using the foil that comes with the foil quill. So this is the rolls, and then I have these um, packages in their four by six sheets, but they come in a bunch of different colors, so you can try a bunch of different colors out. And then you're gonna need your acrylic coaster. Um, these are from Craft Chameleon, and they're about three and a half inches big. Any of their acrylics will work, the circles or any of the other shapes they have. And um, you can grab, I made a whole series of sketch files. These are the single line sketch files, so they don't give you the outline. Um, and I have a whole set of these. They're available on my webpage or on Crafty Millions webpage as well. So let's go set it up in the software. All right, so we are in Silhouette Studio and this is the little Cameo base that has been put up. This is the eight and a half by six. If you have a Cameo page already set up and you want this Curio one, um, plug your Curio in and get it attached and then make sure your Cameo is either off or unplugged. And then you may have to hit new page and it'll eventually bring this little guy up. And this is just the little, the little base. There's a big base as well. And then over here, this is the set of eight uh, sketch files that I made for the coasters. And what a sketch file is, is it is a single line design so where most people complain when they try to, to sketch something is it gives you the outline so see my little aerial right here it's just going to draw around the outside of it this is a single line sketch file so it'll just draw this one little line now these cannot be used for vinyl because it'll just cut a single line and it won't cut out anything you can see so keep that in mind, but that's why these are different than this. But those are the set of eight and they are $5. They are on my webpage or on Crafts Game Millions webpage. Now what we're gonna do to make our coasters is we're gonna come back over here to our little base and we are going to grab the rectangle tool and you can just kind of draw one Go back up to the arrow and click our rectangle. I'm gonna go over here to the tra uh, transform panel and it's the second one. This is our scale tool. Make sure your little lock is unlocked and then we're going to make this 3.5 and hit enter and then 3.5 and hit enter. And this is the same size as our coasters. And then zoom in, and I've just been putting our little template kind of where the two ones meet. You can, you could put it here, you could put it there, you could put it wherever you wanted to. I just, that's where I've ended up putting it. And this is where our coaster is going to sit on our mat. So everything lines up. And then we're going to do this little sketch file. Now you can ungroup them and do them like in multiple colors if you were going to draw them on something. It's kind of hard with the foil because you'd have to take the foil off and then put it all back on. But um, but if you wanted to, you could do them in multiple colors. And basically we're gonna take him and squish him into our box. Now when you're doing this, you also have to remember that you need to leave room for you have to tape your foil to your coaster, so it can't be all the way around the side. All right, because it won't foil quilt over the coaster. Now you can select both of them and go back over here and it's the bullseye. And it'll center your design inside your square here. Unlock is pretty good. Now you can get away with some of this 
but obviously don't do too much of it because it'll look weird. You're not really supposed to do that, but meh. And that looks pretty good. Now, when we hit send, the computer's gonna have a moment because we're on YouTube. All right, so when we go over here, you drew this in the program so it's automatically got a cut line on it. So you're gonna click it and tell it no, no sketch. Now this guy, you're gonna click and hit sketch. And this is the settings that I've been using. A speed of four and a force, I've been using eight. I would say between eight and 10. The force on the machines can be different. I have two cameos and they cut differently. Um, so I would say somewhere between an eight and a 10. Um, you can do a couple testers on your coasters um, just to make sure. Now I got this as a custom setting down here at the bottom. Now, more than likely, you obviously won't have that. So you can go to add new material type. Oh, and we're going to hit add and then we're gonna add sketch action. Then go over here to cut and we're gonna have remove action. And then this is our sketch. We're gonna go down to four, force of eight, and then just one pass. And then up here you can right click and rename YouTube or whatever you wanna. You can rename it whatever you want to. And it saves it for you. So you can have this every time. We will go set up our bases and our coaster. All right, so this is the little base. And then this is our regular mat. Um, not the embossing mat. And fair warning, if your foil sticks to it, sticks to the mat, it stays. So keep that in mind. Now the Curio wants to cut things that are roughly five millimeters tall. And so if your material is not five millimeters tall, we use these platforms to make it. So we're gonna use, this is a two, and then your mat is one. So that gives me three. And then the coasters are two. So that gives us roughly five. And then you're gonna put them on here and then it clips into place. So the only tricky part about this is getting the foil on the coasters because if the foil gets on our matted sticks, it eventually makes our mat not sticky anymore. So what I did is I made these cards. They're, um, I just used the machine to kind of mount through 3.25 because our coasters are three and a half. So this gives us quarter of an inch lap for our tape. And so what I've been doing is just roughly cutting them. And yes, I know. It's wasteful to do it this. I'm gonna waste this little piece over here, I'm sorry. But I wanted this color. And so you just cut. You can also use the rotary, a rotary, uh, the rotary cutter and a mat if you want to. I've been doing that some too. Now, um, they come with the protectors on them. So you're gonna to wanna to peel the uh, clear protector off. And that is our piece. And it's gonna to wanna to stick a little bit because of the static cling. Now I like using washi tape. It's a little bit skinnier for this than the tape that came with the kit. See, it's a little bit, this is a little bit fatter. So, and basically just tape it into place. Now I'm gonna be a proponent of more tape is better for this application because it's not very big and will be fairly close to the edges. And the problem is by the minute you realize that you should have taped it better, you kind of messed up your project. Yes, that would be firsthand experience. Talking right there. And your coasters aren't that big. And then just try to tape it as close to the edge of your foil as you can. Because another experience is it will not foil over the tape. And I'm pretty good at not taping where I'm supposed to. All right. So there we go. Now we're gonna bring our mat back. And remember our square is sitting right here at this one, or one and one at the intersection right here. So just line it up with the grid. the best you can. There it goes. See? 
we're gonna go back over the machine. So this is my four coil. I've got it plugged in. You cannot plug it into your computer. Don't. I have it plugged into a power strip. Don't plug it into your laptop or the machine. It doesn't have enough power to support it. This little metal thing comes with it. Technically, you're supposed to warm it up in the machine, but I normally just let it sit on my desk and warm it up. So the Curio is a little bit different than, than the um, Cameo. So this is my power button. This is a load basis button. And I'll call it the double try or double arrow button. And this is the pause button. It's blinking right now because my bases are not loaded. So what you do is you put your bases in. And just push them all the way to the back. And then you're going to hit the double arrow button. And it loads the bases. Now the other really cool thing about the Curio is that you can take it out midway. Midway, unlike um, a Cameo. My light is no longer blinking because my bases are loaded. The other way to know if your bases are loaded is you can't pull them out. So you're going to put your, your um, foil quilt in and make sure this is out of the way. And then we're going to hit start on our machine with a speed of 4 and a force of 8. And one pass. Also, make sure to unplug your full quilt when you are done, and it needs to heat up for at least five minutes before you use it. So this is our design, and you just pop it off the mat now. You put your little sheet back on, and then, what did I tell you? We managed to get tape in a couple spots. I'm really bad at it. And see, it'll kind of tell you where it's been. So basically, you just pull off the tape and see how it goes. The other nice thing about the coasters is if you mess up the front, guess what? There's a back. See one of my tester coasters? I made that one. That's cocktails on the back. <laughs> You'll never know. And there we go. I had the blue on blue. There we go. Now, um, I think it's a static cling. Oh, this one didn't do it. Sometimes the static cling can leave like little flecks of glitter on here or dust, sparkly dust. So you can take like a lint roller and just lint roller over it real quick and it'll remove any of the little sparkly bits. And that is all there is to it. And you have a coaster. You have a personalized coaster. And the best thing is it doesn't rub off. I mean, it seems pretty on there. Now I seem to kind of gravitate towards this copper, the copper and the gold. So that's why I was trying a new color. I seem to really like those. And they seem to like the darker colors rather than the lighter colors. But that's kind of all personal preference. So I hope you like. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I will leave a link in the description to everything we use in the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.